This short video is to just introduce you to the concept of how to use phpMyAdmin to add data to a table. So here we are inside phpMyAdmin. We're looking at a table called Things. This table is inside the database ABCD0001. That's just the name which is inside of our server under the name localhost. Now this is the server on edumedia.ca as you can see at the top but it's called localhost because the database program is sitting on the same computer as the PHP program so it's localhost. PHP is talking to the same computer. That's our database, this is the table. Now I want to add some things into this table currently I've got two columns, thing ID and thing name. Thing ID is our primary key, that's our unique value. It's set to auto increment, which means the database is going to take care of putting numbers in there for us. We don't have to do anything with that field. Thing name, this is the name, these are the objects that I want to put into the database. Now up at the top, we navigate by clicking on these tabs along the top here. Browse, I get that little red X. If I browse, there's nothing in my table select star from things, this gets everything in my table, nothing comes up, just shows me the structure of the table again. SQL, this would be where I would write my own SQL queries if I wanted to test them. And insert, this is the next one I want to look at here, this is the purpose of this video, I want to add things into the table. So I'm going to put things in as new rows, do I want to stick in 1, 2, 5, 10? How many things do I want to add at one time? So I'm just going to leave it at 2. I'm going to put two records in here. When I'm done, do I want to come back to this screen to insert another new row? Or do I want to go back to whatever page I was looking at before this, which was the SQL tab? I'm going to say, come back to here. Thing name, I'm going to insert a widget and a gadget. There we go. Those are going to be my two thing names that I'm inserting. You'll notice I'm leaving the thing IDs blank. That means that they will be automatically filled in by the database. There we go. I clicked go. It said inserted two rows and I came back to this screen. So I could add in a couple more things. Let's say I want to put in some cheese and a bike. Click go again. There we are. Inserted two IDs the inserted row ID, that was the last record that was put in. This row ID, that's my primary key. If I come back and browse again, now we'll see there are my four records. Thing ID was automatically filled in with one, two, three, four, and the names are the values that I typed. 